Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the Giga Hub Weekly Show, where we talk about things that matter to us but may not matter to you. I'm host one of three, Luis Delatore. I'm host two of three, Dai Kaiju Tony. Three of three, Adam. And today we're going to be talking about the unfortunate and abrupt passing of Mr. Neil Adams. But before we do that, let's talk about our sponsor, Cosmic Comics, the pop culture mecca of the Mojave Desert. Yeah. We have everything that you could ever want, including but not limited to books by Neil Adams. Yeah, a lot of them. Yeah. Because he was very prolific. Yep. Very prolific. Yeah, I highly recommend his Denny O'Neill. Yeah. Uh, Batman stuff. Batman and, and Green, Green, Green Lantern stuff. Green yeah, Lantern. super good. Anyway, come on down. We got everything you could ever want. You can talk to our wonderful and helpful staff who will point you in the right direction. Right. Except for Anthony, who will point you right out the door. Just kidding. Cos- <laughs> CosmicComics.Vegas or CosmicComicsLV.com, and we do ship. Get off so my you lawn. Lawn. Yeah, so you don't even have to show up. That's right. Anyway. All right. Now that we're uh. done with that, let's talk about... Mr. Neil Adams. The man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Neil Adams. Right. Very avid convention goer, so I think we've all mm-hmm. had a chance to meet him. Right? I've, met I've met him, him yeah. Once I, when I, I was, was lucky like, enough to work for him one year. I about think three years ago, two, what? four years ago. You didn't know that? Oh, I think, I think you did tell me that. Uh, you told I me that. For a con. Yeah, it was over a weekend. Well, what convention was it? It was an amazing Las Vegas, I want to say f- three or four years ago now. That was mm-hmm. the same one. Not the same one, but that's the same convention I met him at, right? The amazing Las Vegas. Same convention, yeah, different year. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because the year you met him, I think I was working at a booth. Yeah, I think that's 2017. Booth. Yeah, that's, I, think, I think that's when I met him. I probably saw you there and didn't know you yet. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's probably a teeny tiny. He's probably a wee boy. So there's a, there's a lot of good reasons why Neil Adams is a legend in the industry. Mm-hmm. Um, probably the most obvious is he was incredibly prolific. He did a lot, a lot, a lot of different stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, Chances are, even if you don't know the name, you know of his work simply because he did a lot of advertisements for Saturday morning cartoons. Um, He was responsible for Batman in the 70s. Um, Yep. Yeah, pretty much. He He revitalized Batman. He got away. He brought Batman back to a darker tone before Frank Miller thought about it. Mm-hmm. Um, Denny O'Neill. <laughs> before it was even a glint in his eye. Yeah, him and Denny O'Neill, yep. Yeah. And Venom Batman. was one of my favorites. Yeah. Batman still wore blue, and um, yep. Joker was back to being super murderous. Yeah, super, super murderous, yeah. Um, you know, they were trying to get away from the 60s television show a little bit because they knew something had to change. Yeah, you couldn't keep up the campiness of right. the 60s show. Yep, a lot of skull imagery. <laughs> a lot of skull imagery. And graves. Um, cool stuff. He also drew a lot of, uh, he did a lot of, like, the, like, Conan the Barbarian was another, like, big property that he had for he a very did, long yeah. time. One of the anecdotes he shared with me <laughs> was that he used to get mad when he was asked to draw Conan because he was always given scripts where it was raining. <laughs> <laughs> because you know it's a pain in the butt <laughs> but he i guess he did it so well which is you know a test testament to that i wish maybe i'll show it on camera i have a print where it just looks amazing that he did where it's raining and Should. it's conan it's it's badass mm. so yeah I'm, yeah I'm a little i'm a little ashamed that i didn't buy a print when i met the guy yeah. <laughs> unfortunately oh, no. yeah uh, i never got I one i think my dad had one thing signed from him i think it was batman odyssey which was Batman Odyssey was that um, other Batman. It was a more modern Batman story, but yeah. you could see him ride dinosaurs, basically. Yeah. And Batman had no problems using guns. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh gosh. He, uh, well, he wasn't certainly listen, wasn't I liked, afraid to experiment. Uh, yeah. yeah, listen, I, I know this is supposed to be a, a, a positive tribute to Neil Adams. <laughs> Fortunately, Batman Odyssey is not. Hey, it's cool. You get to see uh, Batman and Robin get gliders out of nowhere, and it works because of the tone of the story. Yeah, the yeah. art was great. You know and what? It, I mean, he was willing to experiment, right? Sure, yeah. <laughs> How much is he willing to experiment? Let me tell you about the time I met him. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty funny, um, funny I, anecdote, yeah. I, what was it? Amazing Las Vegas. We yeah. were at Amazing Las Vegas. And he was there, along with a lot of other people who I got you to and meet, Frank, which was cool. I believe, yeah. Myself and uh, our friend Frank, yeah. yeah. And when, uh, I got to go up. I got to talk to him. I got to shake the guy's hand. By the way, his hands are gigantic. He's got big old He's mitts, got yeah. those big old meaty Catcher's mitts. mitts yeah. yeah. Um... And I remember we were just having a conversation, and people were starting to like gather, uh, gather up by Neil Adams. Wow. And he, 
once he had like a big enough group and i and now that i think about it i think he might have been trolling us but then there's there's like a little part of me that's like i think he was <laughs> serious i think he was like serious <laughs> and he was just seeing how it would go over like a little crowd you know maybe, what i mean maybe. like yeah, how trying to get his feelers out there yeah, maybe. for this idea of a let me see if I can remember it correctly. It's a, a, Superman, it a Superman story. Superman story. I think is what you guys told me. Yeah. Where he had no powers or something like that, yeah. or he was uh, he was born on Earth or something. It was it was really weird. Totally, uh, yeah. Totally contrary to what Superman is. It is yeah. Like, and at first, I I thought this could be real. I mean, this seems like an idea someone would have, but like in a boardroom, you know what I mean? Like a pitch, yeah. like a movie pitch meeting, like what if Superman didn't have powers? Uh, and then the movie doesn't go anywhere. You know, what if Superman was born on earth? Or so, It was something along those lines. Right. Right. And everyone was just dead silent. Like he gave us this look like, uh, what do you guys think? Is that not brilliant? And we were just like, oh, do I tell this living legend that yeah. it's not brilliant? Do yeah. I do I hit Neil Adams? I... <laughs> wow, <laughs> he was in his seventies, and then I'd be like, "I'm so sorry." Yeah. Um, I don't know. What, I walked away a little confused that day, but I do remember <laughs> after telling you, you were like, "He's probably kidding." I'm like, "Yeah, you know what? He was it probably kid- like yeah, he was kidding." Yeah, it sounds like he's probably yeah. joking. But then again, there's that little part of me where he's like, Maybe "I wonder was, what people uh... what do people think." Let, let me let me try it out. Hey, this is my idea for a movie. It's a dark and stormy night in Atlantis <laughs> until the until the zombies <laughs> attacked. And, oh gosh, yeah, the zombie vampires. The zombie vampires. You want to talk about his more other famous works than his Batman ones, like um, yeah, absolutely, Green Arrow and Green Lantern. Wow. Yeah, oh, yeah, he was very influential on that run as well. It, in especially the, 70s. the cover where Roy is. Uh, Shooting up. Yep. He has a shooting up. Shooting up. Yeah, shooting up. Like, like, yes, very <laughs> iconic. <laughs> very iconic um, yeah. uh, drug PSA cover where mm-hmm. he, uh, Green Arrow's ward was using heroin. Her- was it heroin? He was, uh, shoot- he was shooting up. It had to be heroin. He was heroin, shooting up, right? yeah, so it'd have to be heroin. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Speedy was a drug user. Speedy was a drug And that, that's the thing that they kept for a long time, actually. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they have it now. Uh-huh. With the, all the soft reboots and whatnot, but we're not going to get into that. Yeah. yeah. So yes, a very iconic DC cover. Right. Um, he did a lot of iconic covers, honestly. Oh yeah. Um, Superman breaking the chains. Yeah. Some. Yeah. That's him. Superman versus Muhammad Ali is him. Yes. Which he that cover. What's unique about that cover is it's a very early example of kind of a. F- Photoshop, but it was pre-Photoshop. <laughs> they basically cut and pasted and, and sort of drew over celebrity images to Oh, yeah, because in the, the bottom look. had yeah. a whole bunch of other celebrities. celebrities. Yeah. Um, so there's that, yeah. Um, some legendary Batman covers. He's responsible for... If you can think of a classic Batman cover with the Joker, yeah. chances are he did it. <laughs> right. Um, he was also... He did a lot of freelance work. He, he often picked up slack on other artists when they were running behind or whatever he just did random covers back in the day before that was really a he's just thing, one of the, I guess. yeah he was yeah. like one of those super he's like a work the guy was a he's workhorse a work, he was a workhorse yeah. yeah um but you could you could you could leave him with with anything you could give him anything you yeah and apparently it. he was very fast too and which of course that makes a huge difference um yeah so i mean he did a lot of stuff the you know like i said i had the opportunity to work for him over the one convention i wish i I would have jumped at the chance to do it again, but I think I want to say the next amazing he didn't come that time, but um, yeah, it was good. And uh, one of the they they paid of course, which was cool. But then they give you a whole bunch of free prints that he signed. So I have like I think I still have a stack of them. Oh really? So, yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, you should have so, given me one yeah. then. Oh, jerk. Well, I'll have to find one that's that you like. Yeah, find one that you don't want that I might. Want. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know um, I picked a few for presents. Like I I. I uh, there was a Walking Dead one, and somebody where we used to where we used to work I was a big Walking Dead fan. I mm-hmm. gave it to her. I there was a there was a Pennywise one he had that I gave to our friend Michelle. Things oh, like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's cool. So yeah, the uh, the one thing His I wife's did. Wife's a sweetheart, Marilyn. Yeah, yeah, she was. She was very. She was actually there. Yeah. yeah. Um, when he was telling us about his big Superman pitch. Um, his artwork was is by the way is just so good. Like. It, it's just so reminiscent of a bygone era. You know what I mean? Like, even when I was picking up Batman Odyssey, like, even the covers of Batman Odyssey were, like, yeah, it's, 80s covers of, like, 80s yeah, Batman's covers of his, you know? Yeah, it's really hard to explain 
his influence on the medium. I mean, like so many of the images you see, even as I look over your head, Tony, it's just some of those covers, while they're not necessarily done by him, are variations of his style of cover that he did, Mm. that he was known for, even that Warlock cover. I mean, that's very reminiscent of Superman cover. I mean, things like that. I I know he did X-Men for a little. Yeah, he did. Um, So, yeah, he just did a lot, a lot of work. I know he did some Tomb of Dracula work, stuff like that. He did Deadly Hands of Kung Fu. He did Deadly Hands of Kung Fu. Yeah, the early stuff when it was still a magazine, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so when it was a magazine, so, like, there was, like, Bruce Lee stories in it, too, not just yeah. Shang-Chi. Yeah, back when it was more of a magazine about martial arts with comic book stuff in it. Yeah, yeah, And yeah, somehow yeah. turned into a comic book. Dead, <laughs> the Deadly Hands of Kung Fu. Uh, <sighs> yeah, but... It sucks, man. He did pass away, and it's a bummer. Um, I mean, we don't have to go on and on. This can be a short show. I mean... Yep. Um... You know, I mean, what can you really say about the guy that we haven't said already? I'll tell you one thing. I met the guy once, but yeah. man, does he just have like this aura, this yeah. guy. He's the very, like even when he was telling us like a Superman pitch, even when he was just talking to me yeah. before everyone gathered up, like the guy just had. He a presence. Yeah, he was just, he was just, he never, he wasn't like loud or boisterous. No. But like he was very much larger than life. Just yeah. just yeah. like sort of being in his presence, you could feel that he was just like a little ma- big magnanimous guy. Yeah. yeah. And um, it sucks. It sucks I couldn't meet him again. Yeah, and of course, well, should mention cuz this is important. He was very instrumental in getting a lot more rights for creators in general. That's right. So um, he really about pushed, that. yeah, he really pushed uh Simon at what now I can't think of the like, guys that made Superman. Oh, uh, <laughs> um, Siegel? Siegel, Siegel, yes. Um, Schuster and, yeah. Schuster Schuster and Siegel, 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 yeah. Got them, like, uh, pensions, basically, because they were just, they didn't have any money. They got screwed Even over. Even created Superman, this huge, yeah. yeah, huge property. So, yeah. Yeah. All it's right. Stuff like that. Well, rest in peace, Mr. Neil Adams. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah, you a, truly are a talent. A bummer, yeah. And you're going to be missed. Absolutely. Um, before we go, guys, let us know in the comments what your favorite Neil Adams cover or story or particular piece of artwork is yeah yeah, yeah. uh we'd love to hear from you um be sure to hit the like and subscribe button so that you get notified when new videos come up or the dislike whatever you want to do right uh and uh you know what just be sure to be here next week when we talk about other stuff other stuff any last minute thoughts though does this Anything you wanted to add? To oh, well, or? like, look, uh, looking at, at a couple of threads, because I remember when this broke out on Twitter, sure. like, you know, Adams, he founded the Comic Creators Guild, yep. which um, um, involved a lot of creators who really weren't as credited as the time. Right. Um, who knows? He worked with Steve Dicko a lot. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Very good, yeah. He was an immense talent, and he will be missed. Mm-hmm. Anyway, guys, yeah, uh, we're going to head out, and be sure to check us out next week. Good night, guys. Good night.